Hello and welcome. This is Brian Wendell, Charter Market Technician, and I'm going to go over some of the energy markets with you for this week. And we'll start off on crude oil. You can see that we have a negative divergence going on right now, suggesting a pullback coming this week. We broke out to some new highs here, and we did it without the momentum needed to maintain those highs. So that's what we call a negative divergence, usually leads to a nice pullback in price. We can go ahead and throw in Fibonacci's here to get an idea of where we might be pulling back to some of our targets on this pullback before we bounce again. And we'll take that down to the daily time frame to get some ideas as to what might happen here. Our first pullback point and target would be to this demand zone that we see. Oops, wrong button. Yeah, let's change the template here. There we go. So we have 79 and also 77.34. Uh, for that first zone or first target. If we do happen to drop, we have another target right here that actually correlates with that 50% retracement. So inside of the zone is that, that possible target of 75.35. Those are really nice where you have a zone and the Fibonacci's inside the zone. Even here, you have the 38.2 at the bottom of the zone. So that may push pretty deep and then bounce. So when there's correlation between a Fibonacci and a, and a zone, then those are usually the much stronger areas altogether that you look for. So that's where we're expecting a possible pullback. And of course, if it continues to move to the upside, then what I would do is project, once again, going back to the weekly chart, looking at the impulse that we experienced from the low to the high, and then the pullback point of 79, the whole number. Let me go back to the daily because that'll help me get a little more fine-tuned here. And I'll delete this real quick. There we go. So that to 79 and pretty close right there so we can then get our targets overhead and our first target will be 92.63 and then possibly even over 101 so we'll see if that happens on the pullback obviously if we break down to the lower zone then you would just adjust those numbers down let's say it hits the fibonacci retracement of 35 it's close right there then you're looking at about 88.95 and then 97.37 so it just depends on where we bounce as to where we're going to go from there so going down a smaller time frame, a four hour time frame, see if anything changes here as we dive in and kind of dissect those zones. As a matter of fact, it does. You can see that there is a zone right here that broke out of prior highs as well. That's pretty important on that move out. You see it broke the prior highs. That makes this a pretty powerful area because that imbalance was able to not just uh, cause a big move, but it broke out of a prior high. We also have a little bit right here as well. So we may not pull back very deep before we get a small bounce. And unfortunately, we may have already tested some of that area and taken away some of the buying pressure. So I would actually look at the untested portion of the zone of 81.33 to 80.91 as some of the buying pressure might pick up there. But I don't see that holding and reversing price. I think it's more likely we move down that this is just a little bump along the way, if you will. Just above this demand zone, there actually is one right here that also broke to new highs. You can see drop, base, and rally looks pretty good at the 76.79, 76.28 area. None of those line up with Fibonacci areas, but that's okay. You don't necessarily need it. It just helps it and shows a little extra strength. We drop down to a 60-minute time frame for more detail. Again, you see that that's the tested portion. There's also a small zone way up here that could cause a little bit of a bounce. Sounds like my dog got a little excited about that. It's okay, Lucy. I know, she likes trading crew oil too. Anyway, so you got rally base rally right there, 82.53, 82.18. And uh, look for that before we move down to that four hour zone. And we don't really see anything else other than that. So I'd stick with those four hour zones. Moving on to NAT gas, I'm using the March contracts, as you notice, that's the front month contract right now as the volume has rolled over. We had a little bit of a bounce off the lows and retraced back up a bit. So looking at that gas, it looks like we had a failure to get above 50 or maybe just push next to 50 right here, but we're not getting a lot of momentum as we try to move up. And it looks like we are just kind of going sideways. We may start to push back down. I think we're not done with the uh, impulse to the downside. If you take a look at our move, again, starting from the uh, open of the red candles move down, you can see we hit the, about the 38% retracement and are starting to see weakness again already. So if that's where we're retracing to, we are getting ready to continue our impulse down. 
So if we look a little bit below this area, actually, instead of projection, we can look to see where this might retrace, I'm sorry, continue to as far as demand goes. There we go. Uh, looks like our next demand is probably this area right here. Why did I not switch over? Oh, that's why I'm in the wrong one. It's uh, 3061 for our next zone there. Actually, wait a minute. We do have a zone up a little higher than that. Sorry, I missed this. Right there at the 337. So that'll be our next target as we move to the downside. We drop down to a daily time frame. Let's see if that changes anything. Uh, we don't have any overhead supply here whatsoever. So we may just end up stalling out. As you can see, we rallied and made a high. But we, uh, and we went a little bit above 60, but then we pulled back to kind of retrace that high. And as we're moving back up again, we're seeing weakness. So if we can't get above 60 again on this move up and we make a new lower high and lower low on a candle, that's where you're, you're going to signal your drop. Going down in the four hour time frame, we may have a, that drop starting at an area supply right here. You've got drop base drop 4.217 to 4.321. And if we do start to move down from there, then our next area of demand is right here. Drop base and kind of a weak rally, honestly. I don't know if that's really a great area of demand, but we do have the gap area that could act as a bit of demand zone. As we come back down there, it's kind of tested, but there still may be a little bit of buying pressure there. So we could get a couple bounces along the way, but I'm kind of thinking that overall, because of the bearishness of the market, we may just rally up to the 4.2 before collapsing pausing a little bit along the way, but ultimately getting the 3.337. And if we drop down to 60 minutes, see if anything changes there. It really doesn't too much. There is this that you can see we stalled out as we gapped up, but we're trying to make another run for it. And you can see we're getting a lot of weakness in price. We can't sustain any kind of move above 60 to really break out to new highs. You see, when you go above 60, like back here, then you're able to make brand new highs that continue to uptrends, but we're not getting that right now. So we may continue to float sideways, maybe even break down without getting up to the 4.1. But if we do, there's those two zones up above that we're definitely going to turn around at 4.19 up to 4.283 for those two bottom levels of the zones. So keep an eye out for those as your entry points for shorting opportunities. As far as targets go, we have a demand yeah, kind of a weak one right here. And then, of course, the, the lower area on the four hour. And even on this, that doesn't quite qualify on the 60 minute. Just trying to see if there's anything else here, but there really isn't. Ultimately, like I said, it's going to be heading down to about that 3.7 area that I was marking. So that's what I'm seeing on that gas and pretty much all the energy. So we got it all wrapped up. If you've got any questions, let me know. Love to uh, see you again. So make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe. That'll help me out as well. And as well as help you to see the new videos as they come out every week. Until next time, trade safe, trade well, and take care.